What's up guys, uh, welcome to Top Fun for you. In today's video, I've got the latest uh, flagship from Xiaomi. It's uh, the Xiaomi 12 Pro and this one uh, is only available in China and come with the MIUI 13 Chinese version. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your phone and uh, without rooting it and to install a Play Store and uh, have all your favorite app uh, set up on this phone. Uh, no need to unlock the bootloader or routing the phone how you can go from uh, this to this uh, with all uh, the uh, google app uh, installed so, uh, without uh, wasting any time uh, let's get started so well, the first thing you need to do you need to uh, remove some of these uh, chinese app this device is currently running uh, the latest miui 13.0.21 uh, stable uh, and uh, it is the chinese rom as you can see there it's only support uh, chinese and uh, english so uh, if you open uh, the get app uh, the is that uh, the me app store and then uh, go to account at the bottom and then tap on uninstall and uh, you can take from the right uh, all the app you don't need uh, to remove this all these app will be in Chinese so just uh, take all these up leave the google contact sync uh, you don't remove that because uh, that will uh, help uh, sync in your contacts from the app store okay once uh, you select uh, all the app uh, you don't need you just tap on uninstall at the bottom and then uninstall again okay you're left with uh, three apps in there so if you go back onto the home screen you can see most of the chinese apps are gone now so uh, the next thing um just uh, oh, go back onto the app store and then go to the home screen then on the top just go onto the search bar agree tap on the search bar and then here you just uh, tap on uh, Google and then search so when you scroll down you'll see the app store there if uh, the Google app store doesn't show on there that means that it's blocked on your region you need to uh, use a VPN and uh, search for the Google Play so just uh, tap on update Okay, and that's uh, finished. Now you can just uh, come off the App Store. Uh, when you swipe uh, to the left, you'll see the Google Play Store is there uh, installed. So uh, all you need to do now, just uh, open it up, and then sign in. Then here you need to put your Gmail account uh, and password to sign in. Okay, once you type in uh, the username and password, it will uh, straight away look into the App Store. Let's go on to here, I am. Just uh, update uh, the Android system web view and the other app. Okay, them two have been updated. So, uh, and uh, the next thing you need to do, just uh, open uh, the app store again. Just go back and on the search bar, just uh, tap on there, Google. Then enter then search and then that will give you all the google apps uh, required now we need to go and uh, install the, all the google app now let's uh, enable uh, google uh, keyboard uh, to replace the chinese one just tap on google keyboard and then tap on enable and then switch on uh, the multilingual typing on the google keyboard and then ok and then turn off the chinese one and then now when you go onto the app store you have the google keyboard uh, there let's uh, search for facebook and then install you 
you can install uh, any app uh, you want now that you have uh, most of the google app uh, installed so just tidy up just remove the chinese uh, messaging and the call on replace them with the google just drag and drop then the contacts then i'll replace the Chinese uh, browser with uh, Chrome so I just put uh, these uh, Chinese one in uh, one folder and then I just uh, call them uh, I call these me apps anything I'm not gonna use just to, I'm gonna move it to this me app So and I'm going to group all the Google app together in one folder. Okay, rename this folder to Google so now if I open the dialer a prompt will come to set as default so just uh, tap on it and then uh, I'm just going to phone and then set as default and then do the same for the messaging app and then tick on that and then set as default and allow okay okay next you see you still have the chinese uh, uh, search bar at the bottom to remove it just tap and hold and then go to the settings and then where it says trigger search and then switch the search bar off and then just do delete and then on the home screen gesture you can just uh, tap on it here you can change if you want to uh, enable the app drawer or just uh, use it as classic i just leave it as classic and then uh, swipe up up to the center what this does let's say if you swipe up at the center it brings up the chinese search engine but if you want to turn that off on the under the home screen see when you swipe up uh, to home screen it's got like a content center you can just uh, turn that off then that means uh, when you swipe up from the home screen nothing will happen it won't bring up the content center the chinese one so uh, next uh, if you want to customize your app vault just tap and hold and then remove tap and hold remove okay to uh, customize the, the quick app uh, shortcut you just tap and hold and then tap on edit then here you can remove uh, an app and add your shortcut from that list to see all other apps you can add the google assistant and then select other apps and find any of uh, your preferred app you want to have them there you can just uh, add the g You can uh, add YouTube and then once you're done you just uh, tap on done as you can see they're all uh, there so you can just uh, add any app you want if you want to add any more widget in there just tap on the plus and then uh, scroll down you can add the app suggestion one if you want okay that's uh, how you can customize your phone uh, and uh, please not you cannot enable google assistant uh, to use the voice command because uh, it's uh, disabled um, on the uh, chinese rom that cannot be enabled okay that's it from me if you enjoyed this video give us a, a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and enable notification for my latest video
Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.